Hey there, crafty friends. It's Hannah the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. Um, hope everyone is doing great today. So, a little bit about our live today. We're going to play today just a little bit, and I think that's going to be super, super fun. So, today was kind of a catch-up day around the store. Um, no... No orders came in, so for us anyway, but we had some online orders, so thank you so much to those of you that have placed orders yesterday and today. Those have all gone out, so that's awesome. Thank you so, so much. Um, and I told Leslie today, I was like, you know, we didn't get any orders yesterday or today, so that means they're all going to hit at once, which makes it super crazy around here, but that's okay. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're going to play with some products, so I, I still wanted to show you something. Um, and also, I am mic'd up. Look at that. I'm almost like a professional now. Um, I know some of you said that you were having a little trouble. I'll just bring this here. There we go. You were having a little trouble. Um, oh, awesome. Sarah says her stuff arrived today. You had a good box too, my friend. So um, some of you said you had a little bit of trouble hearing me at times. Like the sound would be great and then it would get real muffled and be real great. Not that you lost sound completely. You just couldn't hear me very well. So hopefully um, this takes care of it. I ordered two different mics. Um, so not knowing at all what I'm doing as far as technology goes and I didn't know if it's just my phone is old it's like an iPhone 10 um, it's really old like sometimes it doesn't even want to charge at night um, so I don't know if it's my phone or just the fact that you know I hold my camera or my phone at arm's length so I don't know if that's just too far away or what's going on so if you guys don't mind maybe letting me know um, if you can hear me or not so so that would be good or if it's any better um, if you didn't have any trouble at all, just is it louder? Um, but if you were having trouble, hopefully this microphone helps. Um, and hopefully I'm using it right. <laughs> there, there's always that. I, I did um, I did turn it on, so there was a little button on there. I, I did push the button. It's not red anymore like it was when it was charging. Oh, Diane says sound is good. Thank you. It's got a little... It's green now, so that's good. It's got this little thing that plugs into my phone. Um, the bad part about that, though, that I've got to figure out is when I teach classes, I always plug into my phone so, one, I can project to the computer. Oh, you can't see. I'm, I'm pointing to the TV on the wall. So I can project to the TV, um, or I can keep my phone plugged in because my battery goes dead. So... I know, I've got teenage boys. I just need to ask Kyan because I'm sure he could, you know, hook me all up. Still the same for Vicky. Um, not hearing well yet. So I don't know then, Vicky. Maybe it's you and me both together because, I mean, I've got my mic on. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, if I take it out. All right, let me, let me try that. So if I take it out, Vicky, did that make any difference? Because I've got this little thing I have to put into my phone. Um, and I'm hoping it's it's in there. So I'm not for sure. Cindy says she hears fine. She just left the store, actually. Um, she came in for a little retail therapy. So it was great seeing you, Miss Cindy. Um, so no, I don't know. So I don't know. I will try and listen to myself tonight and, and see if I can tell the difference at all. I did just plug it back in. But I don't get any kind of little prompt like, you know, something's been connected. So... Again, who knows? Maybe I'm just... Oh, but now it's mad at me, Vicki. It is now blinking green and red. So it's not its not loving whatever I did. Ooh, I have angered it. I'm going to try turning it off. Okay, I'm going to try turning it off. And now back on. And now it's angry again. Oh, no. I don't know what I did. It is not happy with me now. Darn it. Hmm. Well, sorry, friends. I'm going to start with some viewers here, I'm, I'm afraid. Okay, now I've got all green again, so we'll see. All right, we're just going to go with it, okay? So I've got some fun stuff that I want to just play around a little bit with the day and show you some fun things that you can do with some different products that I've got here, okay? So I just lost one, though. Dang, I do this to myself all the time. So I got, there it is, found it. Like I lay things down and then I forget where I lay them. I'm gonna grab a couple things here. All right, 
So I'm going to flip the camera around, and I'm going to show you I'm louder now. So I bet it's because I just plugged it back in, so maybe that helped. I don't know. It's great. Okay. So Vicky says now it's great. So maybe it was when I, maybe I plugged it into the um, phone too soon. I don't know. So we'll definitely have to play around with it again next time to see. I plugged it in before, which I put it out here, and then, you know, just turned it on. So I don't know. Okay. So first of all, I wanted to show you these little guys. I haven't gone through how to use these in a while, and I do get a lot of questions when people come into the store. So this is that new pack I just showed you the other day with the little 3D kind of little decoupage sheets, okay? So what you do with these guys, and we sell all different kinds, different companies, and they are some of the cutest, funnest things. This particular pack that I showed you the other day that's part of the Let Spring Begin, you've got one, two, three, five different ones in there. Okay, so I'm showing you those. Okay, so there's your five different ones that, oh, hold on, I got it messing you guys up. I forget because I didn't start out landscape or whatever. I can't, I can't turn my camera that way. Sorry, guys. So five different ones are what you're going to get in the kit, and you get two of each of those sheets. What you do with these, so this is your first layer. So you're just going to, well, Vicki, I don't know. So it may, I didn't do anything there. So I don't know why you're low again, my dear. I, I didn't change anything, and my mic has not moved, and it's all still on. So I, I don't know. Ugh. All right, so we've got layer number one. And then we're going to punch out layer number two. All right. Layer number two, what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple just little foam dots on the back. I do like to use um, the thinner foam dots when I'm doing these guys, especially if I'm going to mail them. That way it doesn't get too big and too lumpy for me to mail. Did not grab a scissors. One of this guy will fit. <laughs> when you clip to the stand, it got softer. Isn't that weird? And I am standing just the same distance. I, I don't get it. I really don't. Um, yeah. Actually, you know, my mouth is probably closer to it now than what it was before. So weird and frustrating all at the same time. Okay. So, I did, like I said, I did order another mic, so maybe I will just have to try that one one day. But my goodness, you would think, because, like, I'm literally, my mouth is probably, you know, a foot from my phone, um, and still the same distance from what's clipped on my shirt. So, so frustrating. All right, so we are going to add this right on top of here, like so. So that is our first layer. So we've got some fun little dimension. And again, you can use um, thicker pop dots if you want to. Now I'm going to go to layer number three. All right, layer number three. Got this little one that I kind of tore in half here. Put that there. All right, and then we're just going to do more pop dots again. I feel like with these guys, you don't want to be too stingy with your pop dots because you want it to stand up really nice. You get too stingy with your pop dots, then you don't get the good oomph that you want. Okay, Put one more in there. small one up since I didn't grab the scissors. Yep, not too bad. All right. So now I'm going to peel all those off. And then we're going to add this on top of that layer number two, adding a little more dimension. Okay. 
So now this is going to go just right on top of here. So cute. So now we've got just a little bit more dimension going there. So now I'm going to find layer number four. Just quickly put some little pop dots on layer number four. Together, so so cute. There's four. Layer number five. You see how easy those are popping out? I mean, I'm going really quick because I don't want to waste your guys' time, basically. And those popped out super super easy. All right. So now we're just going to do the little girl on top of the toadstool. Fun. Our next one, layer number six, is just the bunny. Tear that one for sure. All right. There's the bunny. Now, if you are one of the gals that um, checks out our online store a lot, if you go under stationery, I have these under like 3D or paper toll. Um, it's called different things, um, you know, depending what company does it. But you can also, I try to put a lot of them underneath that label on the website. I know sometimes we forget and they just go under die cuts. These in particular are going to be also listed on the new new for March because this just came in. And now another layer for layer number seven is that little bitty bunny head. And then finally put that little bitty head on just like so so look how fun that is and again like I said you can do thicker ones um, but if I'm gonna mail it I think that's probably enough to mention now having seen this I really think I want that first layer just a little more oomph in there so if I is going to do these all again I think I would double up that first layer or just use a thicker pop dot on the bottom just to give it a little extra oomph off the page to begin with so let's try that I think that that background's a little busy and then this first layer is so nice and big which is great but then that way, I think it'll stand up off the page a little better. Oh yeah, I like that much better. See how it just gives us an extra good pop on that first layer. So cute. All right, so just a quick little demo. How easy it is to do these little, again, like I said, some companies call them 3D decoupage, some call it paper tolling, um, just, you know, kind of depends on what the company calls it, but how stinking cute is that? And then this can easily go um, just on an A2 card or make a little square card. Um, tricks with square cards. I realize whenever you mail a square card here in the States, for whatever reason, they want to charge you more money for a square card. A lot of times I will still just put this in my A2. I may take a little bit of my double-sided tape and make that A2 envelope. Like if this is my A2, I may put just a little bit of tape in here and tape that part of the envelope together. That way, whenever you slide it in and out, it is kind of the correct size. It bothers people sometimes that it rolls around in there. One, it does not bother me. Two, if I get a card and it's kind of rolling around in there, that would not bother me either. 
but if that is something that bothers you, that is a way that you can get around it. Otherwise, you can always send it in a square card on, or square envelope and make a square card with it, but that does cost a little bit more for postage. So anyway, that is just a fun little demo for how you, quick and easy the little decoupage sheets are. And again, I use the ones for Let Spring Begin. And then the next thing I wanna show you today is I know I'm always showing you guys this gilding polish, glitter kiss in the lives. Um, and it, once you use it, it, it all makes sense and how fun it is and things like that. But I realize that if you have not used it before, it may be kind of like, I, I just don't get it. It's a little intimidating. So I want to show you some things that you can do with that. So I've got one. This color here is called Enchanted Gold. Now, first of all, Enchanted Gold, I've got it on. Make sure I'm in the camera here. So I'm sitting down for this now. Um, I've got it on a few different colors. So first of all, it looks very white in the packaging. So sometimes you don't want to let that packaging fool you. Now, here it is on green. See how it just, it gives it a beautiful sheen to the green, but really doesn't change the color a whole lot. Check it out on black. Look at how that gold just pops now on the black. I did it on a dark gray as well too. Now what would, I, what would I do with these? So you can just create backgrounds with this. Now that I've done this, I can also stamp on top of it would be really cool. I can die cut it. That would be really cool as well too. And like I said, here it is just on gray, but you're still getting that really good pop of gold on there. Then I pulled this little guy out. So this is just a piece of black and I um, ran it through an embossing folder. So the embossing folder that I'm using is from Painted Lady, and it is called Petals. So it's the Petals embossing folder that I'm using. I just ran it through the embossing folder. So this would normally be your correct side, but look how fun this side is too. That's why I love embossing folders. I don't know if there's really a right or wrong side to them because you get different effects depending which side you play with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop my little sponge out, just like so, and go ahead and open the lid. And I can even use what's in the lid here. A little bit in there. There's also a lot in here in my container. One thing I did not grab is I like to have a little non-stick surface to kind of work off of. So in a pinch, sometimes you just gotta use what's around you. So I'm going to use packaging and I'm just kind of giving a little swirl and that's really just to get an even amount on my sponge. That's all. Just want to kind of get even coverage on my sponge. So whenever I go across, all right, then I'm just going to lightly go across. I've got a little oops in there. That's okay. If I would just take my time, time instead of trying to rush for you guys, it will turn out beautifully. See when I take my time? But no. <laughs> <laughs> just like whenever we're in a class and you guys start to color, it gets really quiet. I notice as I'm talking now, I'm talking more quiet because I'm trying to concentrate on not messing up. But look how pretty this is just hitting those areas. So that is with it um, on the kind of correct side. Let's go ahead and flip this over. I'm gonna grab my packaging again. I wanna pick up some of what I put on there. And now I wanna do the exact same thing on that back side. Oh my gosh, oh, look how pretty that is. That is gorgeous. Is that not fun? Put a little more on there. Dab it a little more. Swirl it around on my paper there. I think 
guys think? I think it's pretty. If you need more in one area, just keep going over it. It's always easier to add, but um, it's impossible to take away. So, so cool. I think it's cool anyway. All right. So that is just a couple things that you can do with the different um, gilding polishes, um, glitter kisses, the ones that have the little, any, really any of them, because um, you can just use a sponge applicator with any of the different brands you may have. Last thing I want to show you, though, is it with a stencil. Now, what am I going to do with this? So I've got a lot. I don't have a lot of extra on there, but I've got a little bit. So that's when it's kind of fun to take some scrap paper and just give it a quick color. Go ahead and get that color out of there. And then next time you need specialty paper for something you're die cutting, you've got specialty paper made now, friends. So that way I can die cut this later. And if I want to do little gold centers for flowers, or I want to do gold little flowers, I have some paper already made. All right, at this point, it's pretty much, it's like cleaned out. I've got a few little blobs there I'm going to get off. So um, the next thing I'm going to show you is a stencil. And whenever I'm doing that, I always like to have a little container of water near me. So I'm just going to pop this in the water for now. I don't want it to dry out, uh, but I'm not going to clean it right now. So I do have like a couple just little dots of Dawn in here as well, just to kind of, you know, help to release it later. And then, no, I did not want to clean that because I'm going to show you something with the stencil next. I need that. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Hannah Marie. Okay. <laughs> now I'm pushing all of the water out. Let me grab a little towel and dry this guy off. Some days I crack myself up. Okay, so. <laughs> now I'm trying to dry it. I wasn't for sure which one I was going to show you first. If I was going to show you this or the stencil first. And then I was like, ooh, if I show the stencil first, I definitely need to have a little tub of water out. <laughs> oh, friends. Some days I'm a hot mess. Some days I'm just a, I'm just a mess. Not even hot. Just, just a mess. Okay. Um, I just want, we're just going to pick one of these. So this is a layering stencil from Tailored Expression. It's called the Boca Stars. It is a fun stencil because you can layer different colors of the stars. I just want to do a fun little line across the bottom here. Found this scrap in the back. I think it's probably about the size of an A2 whenever I fold it in half so I can turn it into a card or a card front. Of course, I was working on the fly back here. I did not grab my good tape from either so i like to use purple tape um but that's what my little stash that i have of purple tape that's still good purple tape is pretty much gone um and then i love also the spellbinders best ever craft tape that is a real low tack release tape so you can use it to hold down your stencils you can use it to hold down your dies and then we also sell a highlighter tape as well that is also really good the highlighter tape um, it's a little bit more plasticky uh, because it's supposed to be like a, a highlighter, so it's not really, it, I mean, it is a tape. It's got tack to it, but it's a little more plasticky, and you can see through it. Um, I do find that that seems to be a little longer lasting when I'm using it for die cuts. So, All right, but what I've got here is just some good old washi tape. It's not the best. Sometimes you get a little bit of a tear going on, but I think we should be okay. So I just want to tack this guy down. I don't want my stencil to move on me. A little bit there, a little bit up here, okay? Now, because this is a layering stencil, notice how it's got these little squares in the top. So if I was using it as a layering stencil, I would just kind of lightly go through with a pencil and mark those. That way I can line these up each time. They also have a printed front right here. So you know which side is the front and what's the back. 
you'll see right here I've got um, a, a bottom and a top. So when I turn it, then it lines up so much nicer. So I've got my tailored expressions down here, the stencil number here, and then those little guides there as well. I'm just using it as a one stencil this time though. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, let's go ahead and put some, put some more on here since I just washed it all off. myself up because it is really light I'm figuring it's just going to be kind of opaly and I'm doing this because I wanted to show you how some of these have a totally different color on black or dark papers and then lighter papers so I figured I wasn't going to get too much color on here Hi, Journey. How are you? Good. Good, you're good. You're missing my live video because you're in here during it. Okay, I'll watch it later. Okay. You Be sure to watch me later. I'm using a new microphone today, so we're, we're trying to get our technology going here. I don't think it's, it's going too good, but I'll figure that out next time. Okay. All right, friends, so I've got some even coverage on there, even though my sponge was a little bit wet because I cleaned it out. And then I'm gonna raise this up so you can see. Oh, it is cute though. So it is a very subtle, so again, just wanting to show you that some of these opaly ones, you're gonna get different colors on light papers versus dark papers. So on the light paper, we're just getting shimmer. Okay. It's got, as I turn it, hopefully you can see you are getting that gold sheen, but not as much oomph as it, the contrast on a dark paper. So these, again, they're super fun because you're going to get two different colors on a light versus dark paper. Put that in there. Now, if yours ever starts to get thick, a lot of times what I like to do, take some press and seal and, or, you know, um, you can even just like, you know, cling, cling wrap or whatever, strand wrap, put that over the top and then close it. And what that does is it helps to seal it up like it, like um, did when you bought it. Some of them don't even come with a seal on them anymore, but these do dry really quick. Like right now, my finger, look, that's like practically dry on my finger already just from touching that. So they do dry very quick. And because of that, whenever you're working, it wants to dry out. So try and keep it closed, or at least, you know, put like a little piece of saran wrap in there, things like that. Sometimes you can um, do some back up with a little distilled water. Uh, you do want to be careful with like tap water because sometimes that will cause mold because there's different chemicals in it, oh, all that crazy stuff. And this is almost dry already. So super fun. So, all right, everybody. Well, kind of quick and nothing new to show you today but hopefully you learned a few new little techniques so again we started out with a quick little how to on the little 3d decoupage little card fronts or you can use them for tags as well too you would not have to put her on this little card you could just use the um, layers put them on a tag and then use this just as a cute card front all by itself. So you've always got some different options with those. And then after that, showing you guys how to use um, some of the different polishes. And again, it wouldn't even have to be this particular brand of polish, as long as you've got like a cute little, or not cute little, it doesn't have to be cute, as long as you've got a little sponge applicator, then that way you can just lightly brush over the surface, but it is nice with that little applicator they have in there. And we did that with the gilding, showing you what it looks like on the different colors, and then on the embossed card fronts. And again, if I wanted more coverage, you can go back over it a little bit more, but wouldn't that be really pretty with a really neat like a little flower here, cinnamon across there on the front of your card. So 
All right. Well, friends, that is all I've got for you today. Again, I'm Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. You can always check us out online at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. Um, hopefully, we will get the microphone figured out and um, make it a little bit easier for you guys to hear. Here I am talking and not getting my stencil in the water. And I had the whole little bucket there for it the whole time. Dang it. That's just how I roll, I tell you what. All right, everybody, have a great evening, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.